welcome back to Thrill Lens. I'm Diane Hoskins. And I'm Dylan Vine Horowitz. Today we're going to look back at some pictures that I've taken and we're going to give a small backstory and then me and Dylan are going to discuss them and he's going to ask some questions and make some comments. But before we begin, let's hear from our sponsors. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> Don't look this yeah, way. Okay. Emerald South Lawn Care is a small business locally owned and operated in Rutherford County. Here is a message from the owner, Stephen Shepard. Born and raised in Tennessee, we know how important communication and standing by your word is. Give us a shot on any lawn care or landscaping needs and you won't be disappointed. You can contact Emerald South by email at emeraldsouthtn at gmail.com. JC Photography is a small photography business providing services in Smyrna, Laverne, Nashville, and Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It was originally focused on kids with autism and showing their worth. However, Jackie decided to branch out and work with all types of people and families, big or small. She loves to work with kids and animals too and works so hard alongside her phot junior photographer, Diane Hoskins, to ensure people feel safe and as welcome as possible. You can reach Jackie by email at gulichij1889 at gmail.com. So today we're going to go in order um, from older pictures I've taken to newer pictures I've taken. And the first picture that we're going to look at is a picture of my stepsister, Olivia. This is from the 3rd of July, a couple years ago when I first got my camera and I was really into like taking pictures of people. Um, I hate, I don't really like scenery pictures. But anyways, this is Olivia. And how do you feel about this picture? Did she cry right after this? No. Really? We were outside and we were playing around. It was 4th of July. You said it was the 3rd of July. Well, it was... Come on, Diane. It was the Smyrna Firework Celebration. Oh, that. Yeah. I filmed that. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's not the point. Okay. So, how do you feel about this picture? Um, like, on a scale from 1 to 10, how would you rate this two. picture? 2. Why? I don't know. I'll give it a solid 8. Okay. 7. Fun fact is this is not edited. Okay. Like, I've not touched this picture. This is completely just off the card. Um, I like the focus, because that's what portrait does. Okay, so if you could, yeah. like, if you could think of it, like, which one do you think took this? The Nikon or the Canon? The what? The Nikon or the Canon. Oh. Like, which one do you think took this picture? Like, Canon? Canon. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. The, I Canon, the, the Canon actually, like... You'll be able to tell the difference, but the Nikon, the looks a little, like the settings I think are set to where like the light isn't as like bright or there isn't like a, I don't know how to explain it. But next picture, <laughs> we have to do this again because yeah, somebody good. interrupted. I did He's one of those tucked little toes. That's not on me. Okay. So the next picture is also of Olivia. It's from the same day, same shoot, same outfit. However, this time you can't see her face. You can only see from her um, shoulders down. <laughs> so she's also playing yeah. with a necklace. Um, so what do you think about this picture? So good. I would even say it could win an award. Okay. How would you rate it on a scale from 1 to 10? Like, what do you not like about this picture? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just like... You have this, you have the concrete, right? Mm hmm And then you just go up a little more, and it's different. It's, like, wet and cracks and stuff. It rained that day. Should have planned accordingly, Daniel. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Um. Um. <clears throat> anything other than else? that, you can see more of her outfit in this picture. You can. Yeah. Her outfit was really cute that day. Mm-hmm. It's almost like this was happening... On July 3rd, the day before the 4th of <laughs> July. I really love talking about my pictures. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so this is the next one, and this is of... Is that you? No, that's not me. Um, is that you? No. Is that you? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I took these pictures, so they're not, I'm not going to be in them. Um, but this is a family that we were really, we were really close to, um, and this was also on the 3rd of July. They were there. That, they were at my house that day, too. Um, what does this picture, like, what All is right. one word, like, if you could say one word to describe this picture, what would it be? Children. Children, okay. Children. You know how I describe it? 
do you, and how? I use it a lot for like the essence of like a family picture. A family without parents. <laughs> well, it's a sibling picture. I really like this picture. Okay. Do you not like this picture? Next picture. Oh. Okay. Um, we have this one. Okay. I really like this one. Really? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I gotta. You can say that in a minute. Okay. okay. So the next picture are uh, is a picture of flowers, um, actually from a funeral I went to. Um, but these were on my back porch, and I just put them in a mason drawer, and I just took pictures of them. So, what is your first reaction? It's very pretty. I really like it. Really? Yeah. There's another one. Um, I'll show you that one too. This is the second one, and it's kind of like three of those flowers. And um, my favorite part, personally, when I take these pictures, is the fact that it's like focused on what's in front of you. It's not focused on what's behind it. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of the point of portrait mode, I think. So you focus on what's in the front and not uh -huh. the background. I like that tree in the background, though. Pretty cool. <laughs> that's not even a tree. It's in the neighbor's backyard. Um, but. Right. How would you how would you rate this picture? How do you feel about it? I like it. I'd give it a nine out of ten. Really? No. What do you give it then? Nine point five. Yes. Okay. Um, but these pictures actually I don't use them a lot, but I really do like them. Um okay. So this one picture is from Homecoming. Um and it's the guys um that were escorting the girls. On the field, um, this was taken actually the night of homecoming, right before they went outside. But I like this picture not necessarily because they're taking a picture, but necessarily because they're just all together and they're sitting there and they're matching and they're doing what I told them to do and that was great. But um, these are not edited, so I need to go back and edit all these pictures, but it's gonna take too much time. So Dylan, what so if, dying. This looks kind of like you. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the sun was very, very bright that day. <clears throat> so that's kind of that was kind of an issue, but. I don't think he has blue eyes. <laughs> that's I, my only defining feature. Really? And my braces, and my glasses, and my hair. I think if there's one thing I would do different about this though it would be this like i would have done more we kind of did the same poses with everything it definitely would have like why does he have such a long beard um okay so this is also from homecoming and this is a fa my best friend's family um that i've been really close with since middle school Who is that? I know it. this is Haley Koss and her family yeah. um so my favorite thing about this picture is i I didn't really see a reason to edit it, um, because no matter, because if like I went darker, it would have looked weird. If I went lighter, it would have looked weird. But this is one of my favorites because I do love this family so much, and they're all smiling and they're all happy. And what do you think about this picture? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so the next one we're gonna look at are some more recent. But this is Quinn, Quinn Phil. Um, and he actually goes to our school. But this was at a church league basketball game. This is one that I took. This one is edited, but um, it looks good either way. This one's my favorite, though, um, because it's simple. It's very simple. It's just him. And, I mean, you can obviously, what was he doing before this was taken? Swimming. <laughs> no. Uh, what was he doing? Reading a book. No. Um, watching a movie. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was shooting the ball. Okay. Um. <clears throat> how do you think about this picture? What do you think about it? <laughs> I think it's the other hand. This one would be flat. Um, I like yeah. it. Did you like it? I like it. So cool. You don't like it. Okay, this Who one, said that? I could tell. Okay. Okay, so this one is 
this one is from also church league basketball but this is cooper um and he is also a really dear friend to me so i decided to include this but this one's my favorite because it doesn't capture like he's not playing he's sitting there i mean he's standing there and they were talking about their game plan um for the next quarter and so i included it um but i also 52 points you have it. yes yes um <clears throat> But I included it because it really, like, I love how it's focused on him. You know what I mean? Like Half of the shot is some other guy. I know, but that's the point. It's not focused on him, then. But, I mean, yeah, it is focused on him. It's not focused on Jackson. Who's Jackson? Jackson's this guy. Who's the guy behind Jackson? Brayden. Okay. That's Cooper. Um. Cooper. Doesn't he remind you of Buddy the Elf? <laughs> I mean, no. No? I mean, a little bit. Oh. Who are we talking about? Cooper? Yeah. Or Brayden? Cooper. Who's Bra Which one is Brayden? This is Brayden. This what? is Cooper. Oh, okay. He reminds you of Buddy the Elf. Yeah, sure. You don't see it? I mean, Will Ferrell, Cooper, close enough. Okay. Okay, so the last one, or maybe we'll do two more. I think we'll do two more. So this is from um, another really close friend of mine, but was, she's getting baptized. I thought that was you. Or this is after her baptism. No, this is a really oh. close friend of mine. Um, this is after her baptism. And I love this picture so much because it captured how proud of people were of her. You know what I mean? I'm looking at the background people. Okay. Well, it captures... That old man. That old man? Or that... No, that old man. Okay. Doesn't it capture, like, her emotions so well? Yeah. I mean, because, like, when you're baptized, I mean, that's a really special day. Yeah. So, I was baptized when I was a baby, so I don't remember it. Okay. But I just felt like, um, I love the emotion in the picture, so I didn't include it, but, um... Yeah, it... I like, so you can tell how, like, happy, proud she is. You wanted me to. Last one. Can I pick one? Yeah. Yay. Um. Okay. What did I do? It's okay. You can leave it there. Okay, so the last one we're going to look at is this one of from Homecoming. Um, this one's not my favorite, but it's Ethan Vickers, and it's kind of, like, that is Ethan? That's Ethan. Okay, um, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, it's yeah. the sun kind of, like, beaming down on him, and then, like, his head's kind of turned. Um, I I wouldn't say this is my favorite, but I do like this picture. If Haley was in the background, I think I'd like it more just because it would be focused more on him. Yeah, come on, Haley. Um, do better. But I like it because, I mean, it's just a really cool picture to me. Haley's in my first period. Really? Yeah. Um... <laughs> So how do you feel about this one? Ethan's why do you why did you choose period. why'd you choose this one? Because I saw Ethan. Okay. He's in my seventh period. Um Yeah. yeah I've always loved how like this sign does come down on this one though. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, so now since we're done looking at pictures, my we're turn. gonna talk about Dylan's Actually, you just say it. So, like, what do you want to... I want to be a cinematographer. Okay, so what is that? So, whenever you're, like, like watching movies and stuff, you know the shot that they have? Um, you have the shot and the lighting and, like, the composition and all of that. It's pretty much that stuff. A cinematographer does all of that. They pick out the shot and, um, like, the lighting, how dark, how light, that type of stuff. So, so yeah. Okay, so who do they work with, like, um, in production? Because I know, like, I've okay, like I've done a lot of research on like director photography, and they worked a, they work a lot with just the director and the floor manager. But who would you work see, with? See, the a cinematographer and the director of photography, they're pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Thing, yeah. yeah. So they will also work with the same people that a um, director of photography works with. So, you know, it's kind of the same thing, but it has different, it's a different title. So, what has made you want to do this? Because I know, didn't you research on this? 
Yeah. Um, um, last was it last year? Or was it this year? It was this year. It was this year. So we mm-hmm. did a project in AV um, over different production jobs. Um, I think mine was a floor manager. It's actually what I am in our um, show, Hawk Talk. You can watch it on Stewart's Creek Television. Um, but and I'll link that in the description. Um, but he researched cinematography. Um, so what made you kind of want to do that? Uh, I don't know. It's like, I like taking pictures and stuff, but I also want to be part of movie productions and all of that stuff. And, you know, cinematography is kind of like two in one, both of those things combined. So, so do yeah. you plan on doing this? Like, Yeah, it's what I want to do as a career. Really? Yeah. Are you going to go to school for it? Yeah, I'm going to go to um, college. And then I'm gonna go to another college. Okay, what like what do you have to have? Uh, I think it's a bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree could be wrong. Okay. Um. So if you want to hear my college plan, though. Yeah, of course. Um. So, teeth. What? No, I'm just. <laughs> oh, you just okay. interrupted. It's fine. What? This is gonna be so hard to edit. Okay, what were you saying before? I was, before? Trying, to, I was trying to say set designer. Set designer, okay. Who cares? Um, okay. So, for my college plan, I want to, the first two years, I want to go to Motlow. So, because um, in the first two years, I'm trying to get all the other, like, normal classes out of the way, right? And then I want to go to MTSU or another film school. Haven't decided completely, but... Um, Does MTSU have a film program? Yeah, they do. Um... So I want to do that or go to an actual film school but and then get a bachelor's degree so I can be a cinematographer. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's my life planned out. I'm going to work for a few years with a ton of college debt, um, then die. Okay. Yeah. Could you ever see yourself being a teacher of AV production? <laughs> um, no. No, no, not really. Not I mean, you're do. maybe, but I kind of doubt it. Okay. Well, thank you for coming and talking to us, talking to us about what you want to do. I want to be a cinematographer. Does want to be a cinematographer? Um. What? What do you like? Do you think that, like? Do you think at the end of high school, like, you'll ever want to change? Like, do you think there's a possibility Honestly, of any wanting to do anything different? There is a possibility, of course, but I don't know what it would be. Just like, so last year, I really wanted to be in culinary in that field. I took culinary one, and, like, it was cool, but I just enjoyed AV more. So I dropped culinary for this. Um, yeah. I could maybe go back to culinary because I still like cooking at home and stuff. But I also really like learning more about like video stuff and all that. So there is a chance I might change, but I don't see that happening. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of Thrill Lens. I'm Diane Hoskins. And I'm Dylan Byron Hurwitz. And I'll see you next week.